game. Hey, Mark Savage here at the Chicago Auto Show. Well, last night we were at some Lexus uh, presentation. They showed us their new LS500. That's the 2018 model. It comes out later this year, almost to Christmas, I think we're talking about. And the car has an absolutely fabulous interior, one of the best in show at the, uh, at the uh, Detroit Auto Show. And I just want you to take a look inside here. These seats, they have shiatsu massage seats in the front and the back. Look, we got big screens on the back of the uh, front seats. Very awesome. Inside here, we got a 24 inch screen. So talking about big screens, everything spreads across here. Lots of buttons, of course, but a really awesome interior. We can't wait to test drive this one. And uh, we got a twin turbo V6 inside too to give it some power. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. We were just taking a look at the LS500. This is the LC, S for sedan, C for coupe, both from Lexus on the same platform. They just shorten it up, obviously better for their manufacturing. Uh, but this one obviously is a pretty awesome sports coupe that they've got going here. I think it starts about $91,000. This is one that's gonna be out in the spring. So it shouldn't be too much longer until we start seeing these at the dealerships. Again, another beautiful interior, very similar in some ways to what we just saw with the LS. And similar screens and so forth, but man, these seats, we sat in these last night, they're beautiful. They hug you. They've done some major technology to try and measure how all the pressure points are in a human body to make sure that everything's well balanced so that it feels perfect when you sit in this car. It's also got a 4.4 seconds to get the, from zero to 60, so it's going to be a blast. But as of all the luxury cars that uh, Lexus has been making, they put that emphasis on luxury while you still got a lot of really nice performance too. But I, I think this is a beautiful car. It's going to be a, a big seller for them uh, in this category anyway. They, they said that you know it's going to be somewhat competitive even with like a Porsche 911, only won't cost quite as much money.